My name is Asha Mains. I'm an artist, but I also wear different hats. I'm president of Grenada Arts Council, I teach classes with Art School Greens, and I'm currently advising at the National Museum for their visual arts presentation. This painting, I'm calling it Conserve Park. It's this idea that conservation is something that, as opposed to being mandated or drilled into you as far as something you should be doing. It should be something that we are excited about, similar to our own uh, identities, that we are so ingrained with the idea that conservation is uh, imperative to being a good citizen, being a good human on earth, etc. So Conserve Park is the idea that we've made the word conserve monumental with these giant letters that people can go and visit, see a lush landscape with different sorts of water, environments. The two bucket method is good practices in terms of conserving water versus like holding a hose for the whole time. You have a, a soapy bucket, wiping down the vehicle and then putting it into uh, another bucket of uh, water so that you keep the dirt separate and hopefully get the most out of your clean soapy water. We can think of conservation as this is part of what I'm excited about being. So with, with most art and particularly with painting, Beyond simply literally representing something, I, I feel like the medium should embody some of the qualities. So in this case, showing the idea of water conservation with very thin washes uh, so that they drip, giving the impression that there is a quality of water in the painting itself beyond just showing water. Now I'd like to congratulate uh, G Cruz as far as putting out this initiative to involve artists in their campaign, because again, uh, it is an effective tool. I think we as a country are getting better and better at using these tools in terms of visual art and hopefully the next generation will be even more fluid in terms of effectively using visual literacy as a way of improving all of our lives. So when people look at a painting like this, one of the things that I hope would happen is that they would have a little bit of an imagination of what could be. We're always trying to hopefully rewrite and be in charge of what the future looks like. And so hopefully there will be some joy involved in that in terms of a future where we can go to somewhere where conservation, ecology, thinking about the environment is something that we're all involved in and not just kind of like a quick day trip to say we did something that was good for the environment, but something that's in our communities maybe that we constantly refer to to say, yes, that is us. We conserve, not because we're told to necessarily, but because we understand that that's the best way for us to move forward.